Melis, it's Zabby Melly back with another video and today I've got a story time for you guys. Welcome back to my channel guys. If you want to see more of my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to make sure you have your post notifications on and you never miss a video. Don't forget to give this video a big like and leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see more of. What crazy videos do you want to see? Because trust me, I've got a lot of them. So today's story time is about the time when I was drugged. Oh. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So this was about three years ago. I was probably 18 at the time. And I had my usual Friday night dinners at my dad's house, as always. Now, I was a pretty good kid. I didn't do drugs, I didn't do anything bad and all I did was smoke. I had partaken in the recreational drug use just a tiny bit, just just like this much. My family had kind of, my family knew about it. Like they weren't so like oblivious, like they knew what I was doing. Like you can't, you can't look at me and tell me that I'm wrong, okay? Like it was just obvious, but I never really said those words to them, but they were kind of used to it. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna go to my friend's house and I'm gonna smoke this piece of paper for YouTube's monetization, you know, just in case. I went and I was gonna go, I was gonna go do that and then go to my family's house. So I had Stephanie with me. Stephanie is the name that I'm giving my friend because I don't want her story or her drug habits to be out on the internet for everybody to see. So I'm with Stephanie and we're at my friend's house and I was, you know, just picking up a little bit of notebook paper and all of these these are people mind you these are people that i have been friends with all of high school okay people that i trusted with my life <laughs> clearly that was a mistake so i went to my friend's house i'm with stephanie picking up my stuff my friend is rolling my piece of paper up so that i could have it because i was too lazy and i didn't want to do it myself I'm just sitting there and I'm waiting and suddenly a piece of paper gets passed to me and you know I'm not gonna turn it down so I was like all right cool so I take it as usual and you know <laughs> puff puff pass the paper and I give it to my friend who was with me I give it to Stephanie and so Stephanie passes it around. She was driving. So she only took one hit and was like, she's done. She's cool. She's just going to drive. My friend is a one and done. She stopped smoking and she's cool. You know, I continue because I didn't have to drive. And I was like, whatever. I'm going to do what I do anyways. I finished smoking. I grabbed my paper and I head out. And so I'm sitting there in the car and I'm just like this. And then I'm just like, you know, we get to my dad's house and Stephanie looks at me and she's like, hey, are you ready to go? And I'm just sitting there like in front of my dad's house, like looking at his house and I'm just like, fuck no. Like, no, this is not happening right now. Like, you can't do this. I don't know why. I'm sitting there high as fuck. High out of my mind. I was tripping balls. I was so confused as to why I was so freaking high. They had just came back from Colorado. My friends were a little bit older and they were already out of school. And they just got back from Colorado and they brought some stuff, some paper back with them. <laughs> I should just stop saying paper because it really does not matter. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. But for monetization reasons, I'm just gonna keep it like that. I was just like, you know, like I knew it was good, but like, I can hold my own. I can handle myself. Like, why is this making me go crazy? Why am I so high? I'm, I get myself together and I go into my dad's house and I'm just sitting there and I'm like trying to keep my cool. I don't say anything to my dad. And then out of nowhere, he looks at me and he's like, are you okay? Like you are, like you look high as fuck basically. And I was like, um, yeah, I kind of am everybody noticed and it was so 
bad. Like everyone was like looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know, I just work here. I have a paranoid night. Like I'm just sitting there around my family and everybody knows that I'm high. And I was so uncomfortable, but it was one, you know, like I was so high, I didn't even care. No, like I was paranoid, but I was like, you know what, fuck you, because I'm, I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> like, oh no, we can do about it later. Like, I know I'm gonna get shit for this, but like, we can talk about it later, okay? Not right now. So, days, days go by. Like, when I say days, I mean weeks. Weeks go by, and I'm sitting there smoking with my same friends, and they go, <laughs> you know that time you smoked with us and I was like yeah like which time and they're like the last time and I'm like yeah and they're like it was laced and I went from to real quick I was like I was like laced with what I come to find out weeks later that before my family dinner they had wrapped the paper in wax. <laughs> and you're like, Carmela, that's, that's not that bad. I had never smoked anything that wasn't recreational before. I haven't done anything, okay? At this point, I only smoked weed. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to tell this story is if I actually just say it because I'm fucking done with the paper shit. I had never smoked anything besides weed, never. So this was my first time smoking wax and it, the whole entire blunt was laced. That's how I was drugged, but it gets better. Not only was I just like high out of my fucking mind because they wrapped the blunt in wax and didn't tell me, we were smoking K2. Now if any of you, <laughs> anyone knows anything about any type of usage, well, no, that you should never smoke K2 because it could literally kill you. And how I'm alive right now after smoking that and it being wrapped in wax, I should not be alive right now. Especially because I never had like any type of like real tolerance to anything because I was only used to smoking weed. So... That was a very interesting time in my life because I had no idea that the people who were so close to me would fuck me up. Like, fuck me up on the highest level. Like, you can't do somebody worse, can you? Like, my first time smoking wax was an accident and it was with K2. So I had no idea about anything. I just thought it was some good shit from Colorado and I was just like, woo, I was feeling great. Please do not let this be like a, oh my God, she did it, like I wanna do it. Do not, do not smoke. Do not ever smoke K2 and don't try wax, okay? This is a family friendly channel and we don't do drugs, alcohol, none of that shit here. Also, I wanted to bring it to attention in this video because a lot of you guys got scared for my health for a little while because I was showing on my Snapchat story videos of me drinking and going out all the time and I had kind of talked about this in a couple other videos about how I don't necessarily have the best coping mechanisms and my choice of escape was alcohol and I don't think I had a problem but because of where my head was at mentally it was definitely very excessive and I realized that and I actually have been sober for almost I think I've already hit my one month I think it's been a month and almost two weeks I'm very proud of myself I hope you guys can share that with me because it's something that has taken a lot from me because of where I was at mentally and I am doing so much better now that I am sober and working on myself. I'm in such a better place than I ever thought I could be and I would all to you guys, my friends and family, 
anyone who's expressed concern for me. It definitely helped push me to be on the right track in life, and I appreciate all of you guys for sticking with me through this rough journey that has been everything in my life. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below and let me see, let me know what you want to see more of and subscribe if you're new and let me know if you want to see more story times. Also, there's still merch down below. So I will leave that link in the description. So make sure you go check that out. I am also working on cheaper merch because a lot of you guys have expressed that it's very expensive and I wasn't in charge of how much they they were but I am working on getting you guys some new merch that will be more affordable and I hope you guys enjoy it. There might be some sneak peeks on my social media so make sure you go follow them which they will also be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.